Hello everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be talking about how to complete the new uh, event or encounter in the new Sea of Thieves update, Ashen Winds. Now, uh, this, uh, this update's queue is a massive fiery red tornado, you have to make your way over there, and it'll be on the island that it is hovering above. When you get there, there will be some skeletons forming a ritual around uh, a flaming rock, and it will spawn in an Ashen Lord, who has mm, uh, around six different attacks, I don't know if you can count all six of them as attacks, because they're kind of the same as other bosses, but a lot of them are new attacks. So first off, obviously, uh, she spawns skeletons with the quote of, the gang's all here, or my guards are here, and every boss is the same, has the same attacks, but they have just different names, and they look a little bit different, but they all have the exact same attacks. And then another attack that she has is, uh, she will ink your screen, uh, with a quote of, like, the storm is coming, or something along the lines, or something that would indicate uh, being blacked out or pitch black. Another attack is her actually going down into a kneeling position and spitting flames from her mouth it, uh, at you, and but she, uh, on, the, on the attack where she is down on her knees, she can only spit flames in one direction, so you can come behind her and attack her then. And also, I would like to uh, say that you can shoot her with cannonballs or shoot any of the bosses with cannonballs, but I would not recommend it because they do uh, should they do throw uh, fireballs at your boat and at you in general when you are on the island. And obviously, one of the other attacks is similar to the attacks that Grey Marrow and Ghost of Grey Marrow and Briggsy and whatnot have and all of the other guys at the uh, regular forts have. It's where they pull up the ch it's where they pull up the chests and they do a little slap back. But this one's a little bit different. She uh, actually uh, does like it's it's a weird cue. It looks like she's just like standing there summoning uh, skeletons, but she just like kind of makes a fist with her hand and then punches the ground and it uh, sends off a fiery shockwave that uh, bounces you back and does a lot of damage, and it damage you, damages you from a very far um, range. So be aware of that. There's not too much of a cue, but I think she does. She does give um, a little bit of a sound cue for it, like a quote of "Get back" or something along the lines of that. And then the last and final attack is has like no cue for it. It doesn't have like a a voice cue or really too much of a visual cue either. Uh, she will jump at you and like punch you. Um, if you're if you're like looking at her, you can kind of tell that she's crouching down and you'll be like, oh, she's doing this attack, let me watch out. But a lot of the time she likes to couple that attack with spawning skeletons and you are like looking away and you can't you can't currently see her. She'll just do that and smack you without you looking and you'll be like, oh, what the fuck just happened? But um, <clears throat> Actually, sorry, her, not her last and final attack. Her last and final attack for stage one is the, you know, the jumping and shit. So after a while, whenever you're damaging her, she will go down into, like, a sitting position or something, and she'll be like, oh, I need to rest. Ah, uh, that hurts or something. I need to rest. And she'll sit down there for a while, and after you get her down there a couple times, um, she will start doing her meteor flaming, her flaming meteor rocketing attack, or just the meteor shower attack, if you want to call it that. And yeah, it reminds me from a Wizard 101 spell from when I was 12. That's funny. But um, to avoid this attack, um, I'm not on Marauder's Arch currently. The best way to avoid it is to run up uh, by the arch. Not the arch. But it, it's uh, the tunnel by the massive arch all the way uh closer to the top, you can sit in there and you won't get damaged, but if you if you can't get up there or if you're on a different island, the best way to avoid it is try to get under something, but not, not probably not your boat, and, and whenever she does these attacks, um, or she does a meteor attack, I would recommend, or in, when she's in the second stage, all together, keep her away from your boat, or just park your boat really far out. But if you do want to damage her with cannonballs, because you can do that, um, I would recommend not being solo, doing it with, like, multiple people. Just have mul multiple people on the island damaging her, one person cannoning, because uh, it's really not worth it to cannon, uh, or just be close to the island at all with your boat, because you will just get damaged by this massive meteor attack, 
as well as her just chucking meteors normally, because the, the meteors that she chucks are like blunder bombs, but they do actually damage your boat. Now, I would like to let you know that she has a unbelievable amount of health, so this is almost impossible solo, impossible to do quickly solo, so I would recommend doing this with at least one other teammate, or obviously do it in a galleon crew. Right here I'm doing it in a, in a random Q galleon from an Xbox post. And after you kill her, uh, she will drop, obviously, uh, the Ashen Wind Skull, as well as a bunch of other loot will rise up from geysers, a bunch of Ashen stuff, Ashen Skulls, Ashen Crates, and some other skulls and shit. Whenever you sell it, uh, it is around 4k. We get 5k here um, because we are a emissary for the Order of Souls. But that's how much you get for it normally uh, without using it at all. But uh, whenever you, you whenever you do use it, obviously the amount goes down. Uh, it's not. I mean, if you like tap it once or just use it once, it's not going to go down too much. But eventually, it will be you know next to worthless. So I was just selling it uh, normally this first time because I wanted to see how much it was worth for this video. But after this, I'm probably just going to be and as well for the commendation. There's a commendation for selling it fully ignited. But uh, I think from now on, I'll probably be uh, rolling up on uh, toddlers and burning them to death. But other than that, that's really all to talk about it in this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the description, or the description, the comments down below. Um, and I will try to help you out as much as I can. And other people will also probably try to help you out. But uh, all my socials are linked in the top of my description on my flow page if you would like to check any of those out. I will see you guys in the next one.